Okay guys, my plans were to uh, forego doing any repairs to this receiver until the uh, winter time. I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, loudspeaker so I can evaluate it closer. I already know the uh, gasket itself is loose and the cone is loose from the uh, surround. This has the uh, spider, again you can see internal, and it has the uh, center set screw. So being that the uh, cone's already loose, I'm going to go ahead and desolder the uh, leads going to the field coil, the output transformer, and the other hardware on top to physically get the uh, loudspeaker out. All right, I've got everything uh, just clipped off right near the uh, solder points there on the uh, tube sockets because I need to clean those up anyway. Let me look at the mounting hardware for the loudspeaker and uh, go ahead and get everything disconnected. Just uh, referencing the schematic, everything uh, appeared to be tied in correctly at a quick glance. And the two fasteners that hold the loudspeaker in place, one down in here beside the uh, Bakelite block, and then this one over here that I can remove again from the uh, top and the one supporting bracket left facing side to remove. And the one fastener back here on the back. And one washer in place. Yeah, that should be it and a loudspeaker that likes to uh, rattle. And you can see the uh, two connection points going to the output of the output transformer back to the voice coil. Appears to be a uh, humbucking coil as well in place. Part number on the loudspeaker is a match to the schematic B6. Here's the uh, output transformer. Let me see how free the uh, cone is. And I'll go ahead and remove the uh, center uh, set screw that holds the internal spider in place. Just taking a razor and going around the uh, edge. I don't think there's much holding the uh, cone and all this in place. I think it's fairly well degraded. center set screw and washer. Let me set that off to the side. Go ahead and see if I can remove the uh, cardboard gasket here. Looks like it's going to come off freely. I'm going to reuse it. If I've got this free, I should just be able to lift vertically the uh, spider and voice coil hopefully without damaging it just straight up you can get a grip on it here there we go spin this around and you can see the uh, tie points back to the uh, voice coil if I can get this centered correctly and get some good lighting You won't be able to spot this on camera, but lots of debris down in the air gap around the uh, center pole piece. Again, that gets magnetized by the field coil. So I'll need to uh, clean that out well. And just for reference, you can see the orientation of the output transformer and the uh, fasteners. I just want to go ahead and remove it so I can clean up the uh, basket. And one Philco output transformer. I'm going to go ahead and just cut around the uh, internal spider carefully from the uh, back side and then try to attach a uh, new cone. And let me trim around this very carefully. I'm actually going to leave just a, a little bit of the paper on around the uh, edge of the spider until I do a, a dry fit with a cone. 
that I have in mind to possibly use. Got the new cone in place. I just happen to have a, a little five inch cone that uh, I think it's gonna work. The uh, depth might be off just a bit, but I don't think it's gonna make that much difference. Let me get some epoxy and go ahead and glue the uh, spider back down. The problem I'm having is being able to put shims in the uh, spider around the uh, center pole piece. I just don't have a wide enough gap here in the uh, spider cutout area to be able to get the shims in place. I'll just do my best to uh, center the cone in this area. And then when it comes time to uh, glue the uh, surround down, I'll do some uh, minor adjustments and readjust the uh, center screw here, set screw. You guys can see the connection down here. Looks like that's where the uh, humbucking coil comes together. Somebody has shorted those leads together. That's what it appears. So I don't know if the humbucking coil is open something going on. Humbucking coil is good. Reads uh, 0.28 ohms. Probably just a, a few turns of wire. Someone had bypassed the humbucking coil. Just had the uh, two leads tied back together. So um, I'll fix that and I'll show you guys, which I've shared before, an easy method and procedure to make sure the uh, humbucking coil is out of phase with the uh, voice coil when we get to that point. Hey guys, just finished reconing the loudspeaker for the Philco 37600. Seems to be performing well. I took a different approach on making sure that I had the uh, voice coil or spider centered. Again, this is the uh, internal spider. I'll put a link to the uh, video I use for reference, just using a uh, 50 hertz tone. Why I had the glue loose around the uh, surround and then uh, tightened down the uh, spider itself to the uh, center pole piece, but uh, she sounds pretty good. Again, I got a meter hooked up looking at the uh, voltage drop. The impedance of this speaker is only about uh, two ohms. Uh, reads around uh, one point something ohms of DC resistance. Anyway, I think she's sounding pretty good. I can do some more uh, tweaking later once I get it back in the uh, receiver and get that restored if needed. Just energizing the uh, fill coil. I don't have it up at full current. It's about a thousand ohm uh, fill coil. I'm just using a 18 volt uh, battery to uh, energize the uh, fill coil just to create some magnetic properties here. The old cone, what's left of it, not much.
Appreciate you guys uh, watching and listening. Everyone take care.